The news hundreds of priests were defrocked comes out of Switzerland. The document was prepared by the Vatican for officials testifying in front of a United Nations panel. Welcome to this meeting. The UN Convention on the Rights of the Child is looking at sexual abuse and the Vatican has taken a grilling at times. What have you done? What have the local churches done? What has happened in, in the States? Um, and how many victims and have they got compensation? Now, Vatican officials did not give many specifics this week. The only figure released publicly was the number of sexual abuse cases around the world, the Vatican pegging it at more than 4,000. Officials admit there is a problem, and in their words, they now get it. Let's say the Holy See gets it. Let, let's not say too late or not. The Holy See gets it. When the news broke that Pope Benedict XVI had booted nearly 400 priests out of the Catholic Church for abusing children, plenty of people were satisfied to see the Church finally admitting what it had done. But even more was still fuming over a massive cover-up within the church itself. And plenty of fingers pointed at leaders such as Pope Benedict for being part of a continuing cover-up. Think about those words a member of the church itself said at the hearing. We get it. With regard to more than 4,000 known cases and God knows how many we'll never hear about, the fact it took an international effort to uncover their evil and force them to do something about it makes any acceptance of guilt almost laughable were it not for the seriousness of the charges. I noted the trailer for an upcoming film called Spotlight based on the true story of maybe the most heinous and vile example of what happens when supposed men of God are allowed to ply their insidious wares among the innocent. When priests in Boston molested children in six different parishes over a 30-year span, and the Catholic Church, from the priests at the churches to the archbishops to the Vatican itself, did absolutely nothing. Obviously, the church will fight us very hard. I'm trying to get some background information. I don't want you recording this in any way, shape, or form. Nothing. We understand you've settled several cases against the church. I can't discuss that. There aren't any records of any of these settlements. Nope. When you're a poor kid from a poor family, and when a priest pays attention to you, it's a big deal. How do you say no to God? Spotlight. This is the tip line. You think he's got something? I want to keep dating. We need to focus on the institution. Show me that it came from the top down. They'll try to silence anyone who speaks out. You leave me alone, you hear me? 6% act out sexually. 6% is 90. 90 priests. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. They knew all right, they hid it for generations, which brings us to the present, to Pope Francis and his various appearances in America. Now, let's be real honest here. I'm angry to hear the Pope speak of so many issues and spend no discernible time on this subject. He must promise that every priest, every ordained individual, be brought to swift, worldwide justice for their crimes. Don't just kick these guys out. Demand prosecution to the fullest extent of the law and slap them into cages where they can rot for the rest of their lives. Anything less is still a cover-up. Now, we want to believe this pope is a better man than those who came before him. We've seen it. We've talked about it. We've said it over and over again. But it's time to spare us apologies and pleas and bring the justice of man to bear once and for all. Or if this does not happen, and I hate to say this and it hurts me to say this, if this doesn't happen, if they don't go after this vermin, with every possible movement that they possibly can bring to bear, this pope is no better than those who came before him. Pope Francis, do something about this. Say something. Put it out in front and nail these people to the wall. That's my opinion, telling it like it is. Rock on, true believers. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow right back here on The Hardline.